Hey guys, it's Monica. I have had a number of questions about affordable Retin-A. So I thought I would devote this video basically to affordable Retin-A. So if you're curious, if you're a mature woman, or even if you're a young woman and you really want to get proactive with your skin care, stay tuned. So I, I'm loving this jacket. I, um, I was on Facebook and um, you know how Facebook has those memories and they had come up with a memory and it was a picture of Jay and I. I think, I want to guess it was 1994. It could even have been as early as 93. But I was wearing this jacket. Jay was wearing a blue flannel shirt and it just brought all those memories back because I remember buying this jacket and when I bought this jacket, I bought it at a fashion show, a realtor fashion show, and I loved it. It has massive shoulder pads. It has got puffy sleeves. It goes down below my butt, and it kind of like, because it goes down below my butt, I would never wear it today, even though I could, I can button it. It's, it accents my butt. It gives me a Kardashian butt before I even knew such a thing, you know what I mean? I mean, the way the puffiness of the jacket and then it has this broad base on the bottom. So when I button it, and I, I know you can't see, but it just hugs my butt and I have I have a big butt. So, but I'm going to superimpose the picture of Jay and I because it just said, I knew I had the jacket and I know it's like 30 years old and I know it was hand designed, hand painted by someone out in California and... I loved it. I wore this jacket all the time. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. So anyway, saw the picture and then I've gotten a lot of people say, well, you know what, bring it to a, um, like a, a dressmaker not, or a seamstress or something. They could probably take the shoulder pads out. They could probably end up taking the big, big cuff off if that's what I want. I don't know if you can see the cuff on the bottom, but it's really cute. It's sort of like, it doesn't close, it doesn't close straight down. It's not like you button it straight down. It buttons and then it goes open and it kind of like curves on the edge. And it's this big piece right here that gives me a Kardashian butt. And I really, <laughs> I don't want that. Anyway. I've had a number of questions ever since I had posted about my Retin-A and I've had a number of questions. Some of them, um, some of the questions have been on my video, but most of them have been over on Facebook and as well as Instagram. So I have, first of all, I am not, I am not a skincare expert by any stretch of the means. I have learned so much from watching other women on YouTube and also I go to a dermatologist and many of you know that I'm having a procedure done. I, it's still not scheduled. I have like a four or five pictures, um, you picture of when they, you know, when they did the outline, when they, when they did the biopsy and all that. So I've got all those pictures. I'm going to do that as an update as we go forward. Probably because I've been so aware of my skin, I was able to catch this early because it looked like a deep blackhead. And I, I look at everything in a 10 times magnifying lens. So, um, so yeah, it's, I, I caught it early and, um, and I, and I really, I really thank my skincare for that because I'm way, way more aware of spots, discoloration. I have my, my naked skin, when you see the pictures in, in an upcoming video, my naked skin is far from perfect. I've got a lot of veins, I've got a lot of red veins, so it's more veins than anything else and big, large honking pores. So. Anyways, I monitor it wicked carefully. I go to the dermatologist. Um, my Retin-A is prescription. When I first was subscribed Retin-A in 2016, I ended up, and I was late to the game. You know, I started late, I was nervous, all the whole nine yards. But I ended up going to um, Canadian Pharmacy online 
and it was so much cheaper even though I had an RX card um, there's that RX card I can't think of the name of it where you can shop what I discovered is that if I took my prescription and I brought it to the at that time when I put it in good RX and it popped up what was the most reasonable place for me to buy it to do that I would have to bring my prescription to that store was Walgreens at the time my prescription had two refills and um, you know I it was like a special it was like 80 some odd dollars for one tube of retin-a special which was very cheap because everywhere else was well over two hundred dollars but when I talked to the pharmacy they would require that prescription and I said would I be guaranteed the same price because this is a special price what what if I I need in six months or whenever you would renew it I would get whatever the price is and so I, I had to relinquish that prescription for them to fill it. So I said, oh, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to pay 80 bucks. And then when I go to refill in a, in a year, uh, it's $200 or something. So I was really worried about that. And I ended up taking my very first prescription was, um, I'm playing with my hair, uh, was, was uh, overseas in camp. Sorry, my very first prescription for Retin-A was filled in a Canadian pharmacy, like I said, and even though it was a lot cheaper, it was still pricey, but I felt totally comfortable with it. After that, I found uh, Reliable RX and All Day Chemist. They're in India, and I was really nervous about ordering anything overseas. I said, I don't, I don't want to do this. I'm super, super nervous. So what I did, and everyone does it differently you have to I had to pay at that time and I did it the same way when I did my reorder you have to pay by e-check and you know I just opened up a separate checking account I kept the minimum balance in there required so it wouldn't have any fees and I would use that checking account to purchase my overseas my retin-a or anything else and that became sort of my skincare makeup fund basically and that's how I did it. And I would then fill it out. I had a prescription. Yes, I did. If they wanted a copy of it, I would have, you know, sent it. Never needed that. I ordered my first Retin-A. It took a while. I was really nervous. I was wondering what was going to come. But I ordered my first Retin-A and it arrived. Now, since that time, I have reordered maybe two, three times because I usually order a few tubes at a time because that's the most affordable. And also with shipping charges, it was made the most sense. So when you go on Reliable RX, if you're going to do that, you won't always get the same brand name because they run out. And so when I placed my last order, I didn't have the order before that. I had a brand that was actually manufactured by Johnson and Johnson. This time, not because they were all out. So. I order, everyone says, do you get the cream? Do you get the gel? I actually like the gel better, but I would order the cream if they had the cream. So I have my 0 0.1 in gel, and then I have a, because I wanted to have a lower dose just for different areas of my face, maybe going down a little bit more in my neck. So I ordered the cream because at the time I ordered it, they did not have the gel in that in that strength, 0 0.05. So I'm gonna show you the tubes. Hopefully that's zooming in. I will also show you, I'll superimpose uh, the picture so you can see from the website, so you can see the prices. I ordered this this one in mid January. It um, it's March now. I got it. What was it? Two weeks ago, something like that. And even though it was a different manufacturer, it was manufactured in India. the The product is the same to me. The gel. I'm already starting some flaking and some peeling from it. And and I've only been using the gel. So I have my little. I I show this a lot when I talk about Retin-A. This is my little Retin-A stash. And, and I use this probably three times a week. And I use around my eyes. I use my, my Olay Pro Retinol. I do that around my eyes. And, um, and I also have the, I didn't reorder this, um, but I could if I wanted to. But I have the, uh, is it Trulia? Tr Trulima? Trulima? 
a hydroquinone and tretinoin combination for my brown spots. And this really, this along with my vitamin C has made the biggest difference in my cluster of my brown spots on my face. I haven't used it on my hands. I have a ton of brown spots on my hands. My hands are aging horribly. Um, but on my face, it's made a big difference, and I got that at Reliable RX as well. I still have plenty. There's a couple of other prescriptions or a couple of other um, drugs I want to order from Reliable RX, so I'm going to be placing another order. But when I ordered this, I ordered three tubes of the 0 0.1 and three tubes of the 0 0.05 because I ordered two for a friend who wanted it. And so it took about six weeks for it to arrive and uh, securely packaged. I felt totally comfortable um, completely. So for me, it cost 60 some odd dollars, $64 um, in, for the products and for the shipping. It, it's to me it was it's well worth it I'm not saying you should do it I'm not saying you should take the risk I'm, I'm for me it was well worth it so affordable retin-a makes it so that I can continue to use retin-a and as I am aging more and Medicare um, is not going to be the prescriptions are not going to be readily covered necessarily or as much because of my Medicare plan and my my plan D I'm going to continue to buy it this way so I use reliable RX all day chemist I, I believe is the parent company um, they get good reviews I feel comfortable I have a separate checking account I don't even know if you need that personally but um, I also don't know if you need retin-a that's your decision you need to talk to your doctor your 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 um you know, YouTube has taught me a lot. It really has. There's a lot of people, dermatologists on YouTube and estheticians on YouTube. There are, there are women that love makeup, women that hate makeup. We're all different. We all have different skins. We all have different beliefs. And I, I, am, I embrace what I believe in, and I do believe in tretinoin from my skin at 68. I feel it's really made a huge difference. And... I'm never going to impose my thoughts on you. I've listened to some dermatologists where I, I would never do what they're saying. Same thing with estheticians. I would never do what they're saying. They may know what they know and have an education and have a degree and know it all, but they don't know me. I'll listen to my dermatologist who's sitting across from me looking at my skin before I verbatim run and believe what a dermatologist or an esthetician says on the internet. No offense, there's many beautiful estheticians that I love and dermatologist channels that I watch. But I'm going to go to a person that can see me, feel me, and, and understand my skin and my issues and, and believe them. So. I have been following the advice of what my in-person dermatologist has recommended for me. I can't stress that enough. You know, I don't care what the degrees are, the education is of these people that you're listening to. You need to make the decision for your skin based on the advice you get and you feel comfortable with. And to me, my comfort level was listening to someone who could see me and understand me and talk to me in real time not a video so for all it's worth do your own investigation don't be buying reliable rx because i'm saying it don't start retin-a because i'm saying it or someone else is do your own investigation talk to your own dermatologist and whatever you do <laughs> to stay and have a healthy canvas whatever you do do not ever forget sunblock sunscreen otherwise it's all for nothing it's all for nothing so anyways i know i went on and on i thought this was going to be a short video about not much but i did want to share this because i'm like digging this this is like bringing me back to those 60 vibes you know look at that look at the artwork it's like really awesome it's like awesome <laughs> so i think i might just have this somehow altered um i don't know i think i could walk around in my jean jacket at 68 i don't want to be laughed at <laughs> 
So anyways, that's it guys. Thank you all so much for watching.